Oh, good. All right, Mr. Chris Sayers. Hello, Chris. How you doing? Uh, enough time has passed now for me to talk about why I decided to leave Blizzard. Mm. A mixed year with great teammates, but a management that mistreated, lied to me, gaslit me, gave me a fake promotion, an HR that refused to help. Buckle up, friends. Flex. Okay. Uh, I want to start by saying that all the people I got to work with on Team 4... Okay, so you're from the Overwatch team. Okay, we're incredible. They were warm, welcoming, fun, friendly, and just so goddamn talented. There were so many great people on my team championing for me, and I'm so grateful for their support. That's what I found when I was on campus. All the dev teams were awesome. Absolutely awesome. All the dev teams were great. Uh, unfortunately, however, I spent most of a year stressed out of my mind working four people's jobs at once and having management make promises they had no intention of fulfilling, and I ultimately felt like I had no choice but to leave for my own mental health. In July 2023, I was invited to a meeting by art, leadership, and production to let me know that they were interested in promoting me to lead VFX artist of the cosmetics team. Skins, emotes, etc, etc. <laughs> I'd only been there six months, and I told them basically, if you're sure, lol. Ah, uh, they spotted a naivety. The predators were in the water, I see. He's ripe for the exploitation. But before accepting, I was adamant that we were all on the same page about this full role. Yeah, this has vibes of I just joined the guild and suddenly I'm the raid leader. Uh, even every instinct of myself tells me this is incorrect, but okay. Uh, before accepting, I was adamant that we were all on the same page about the full role. What it meant, what I would be doing, and also what the promotion would come with. Pay increase, title change, and confirmed all of those details before going further. Okay. These conversations included other lead VFX art directors, associate art directors. God, that fucking company. <sighs> Is it any wonder that these devs want to work for indie companies? It's like lead VFX, art directors, associate art directors, production directors, and HR. Ah! And as we were all happy, I started the job effective immediately with the details to come at the end of the week in writing. Okay. The new role was all of my existing responsibilities and workload as a senior, becoming a line manager of three people immediately, managing our entire outsourced VFX pipeline in China, plus additional lead things, planning, and many more meetings, lol. Yeah. Friday of that week comes. Nothing but the production direct... Nothing. But the production director does announce my promotion to the lead to the whole team on Thursday. It's official. It's happening. The whole team knows. I even tweet about it because I'm so excited. We're all Gucci. All right. They sent an email out at work announcing my promotion to the team. And everybody's being so nice and saying nice things. Ah. On my first week as lead. This is where it all goes pear shapes, I assume. On my first week as lead, my new manager tells me that we're going to have to fire one of my new reports because he won't return to office. Classic. Uh, this does line up in the timeline, right? That's when Ibarra made the uh, announcement that we all read. It was like, uh, it's time to come home and everybody had already moved away. Yeah, it, it, that, that's when this is, right? That's when Ibarra did that meeting. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but you told us we could move away and this was never happening. Uh, so, what the fuck, dude? You know how much it costs to live in California? <laughs> uh, me, he is waiting for a medical, uh, me, he's waiting for a medical accommodation because he is a carer for his parents. Yeah, laughing, we're not going to do that for a junior. Ah, America. <sighs> ah, America. Another lead on the team offers to deliver the news for me because it is my first week as lead. Oh, so you didn't do it. Another lead on the team offers to deliver the news for me because it is my first week. Okay, so somebody else actually does it. And the person we are supposed to fire is one of my closest friends on the team. He is given until the end of the month to either relocate or leave. We're all pretty distraught. Okay. I'm now doing my senior role. My lead role and now all the work that this great VFX artist was doing. Then they refused to hire an intern, another one of my reports, who's incredibly talented and we all love. So I, okay, so this is when they knew Overwatch was doomed. 
Right. Yes, yeah, so this is when the Blizzard 100% knows that Overwatch 2 is fucking doomed. And they are not throwing more money at it. That's what's going on here. We need we need more help. No. No. Because this game is fucking dumpstered. Absolutely hard dumpstered and has already wasted millions and millions of dollars. <coughs> A month goes by and I have now sent an email or Slack message every other day to find out what is happening. Oh, you haven't had the pay increase. Oh. Yeah, they're not going to give it you either. And the title change. Yeah. I'm told I have to wait until August because that's when all the promotions happen. But don't worry, it's all happening. I have been here before. God damn. I've been here before. Yeah, this promotion is never coming. Yeah, this this is certainly not unique to Blizzard. This is a this is a company that is a hundred percent cutting its losses and trying to get everything it possibly can out of everybody because you're probably going to be fired. Uh, I then discover that as I'm earning less than fifty percent of every other lead VFX artist at Blizzard. What? So much so that as lead, my salary is lower than every person I'm managing. Ah, oh, you poor motherfucker. This is why they chose you. This is why they chose you. This is exactly why they chose you. Yeah, they they picked on a young. He looks quite young. They look they picked on a young, ambitious artist. I send more emails. I'm told it's because I'm in the UK and my salary is based on market value, not my value. I mean, immediate quit, right? <sighs> Fuck that. Fuck that. Oh, it's not that... <sighs> If it's not based on your value, why are you in the lead position? Like, this is so nonsensical. It's like, what are you talking about? It's based on market value. I'm not working for a UK company. I'm working for you. My value is to you, not to fucking Rishi Sunak. What are you talking about? It's just so... I mean, I would lose my fucking shit, but I've been through this crap as well, and I've totally fallen for this in the past. But at this point in my life, I would lose my fucking shit. I'd be like, what are you talking about? <coughs> you don't value me. You just promote me to lead. But I'm not valuable to you. I'm less valuable than the fucking people I'm managing to you. But because I live over here and fucking Boris is running the place at this time, I think. What are you fucking talking about? I ask HR if they think that is ethically okay to pay me less than 50% of the people doing the same job. They tell me, why would we pay you more than we have to? That doesn't make any business sense. Do you not have this in writing? Have we got receipts for this? You need to be posting the receipts. Like, this is the reply I got. You absolutely need to be posting this. Right? You need the receipts to back this up, kid. You've got to be posting it. If you did this all by voice, you're a fucking mug. 31. Email, email, email. I can't stress this enough to the audience. Email, email, email. Always have the written receipt. Never accept anything on voice. Words matter. Email. Ne and if any of you out there are like deleting emails, work emails, never, regardless of what it is. I don't care if it's fucking Toby asking if you'll get him a coffee. You keep that fucking email. Because in two years' time, Toby's going to be claiming that you're always in the coffee machine. So you should never fucking get a promotion, right? You want Toby's ass on the fucking line. Are you kidding me? Toby is always asking me to make him a coffee. That's why he's not making the coffee. And I'm his junior, so I do it. 
I realize I'm talking to a person who doesn't give a shit about people. <sighs> Another month passes. Dude, leave. What the fuck? How do you not leave after this? Another month passes. Like, oh, you, you're living on the copium. They're going to promote you. You absolutely know by now this is not going to happen, right? I get to August and it turns out, no, no, it's actually September now. For some reason. But don't worry, it's coming. It's definitely a promotion and there's definitely a pay increase. I continue to be overworked and exhausted, but hopeful. Foolish. Yes, okay, so at this point you realize this was really foolish. Okay, good. Another few weeks pass and it's getting to three months of being the lead. So I send an email out to everyone. Oh, is this when you first put it in writing? No, you said you were doing it via Slack. And Blizzard does use Slack a lot, which I assume is recorded. I send an email out to everyone. Directors, vice presidents, HR and leads, you name it. Telling them that if there is no written information by September 1st, I will stop doing the role immediately. Suddenly people have something to say. Yes. <laughs> yes, this should have been done a long time ago. A long, you know what you should have done? And I would have done this. And I'm not saying this to sound like Mr. Big. If I ever replied, uh, got a, a reply from HR uh, like this, about the 50% less than the people I'm managing, and why would we pay you more? I would have sent that out immediately, saying, is this really the, the message you want going out into the public sphere? Is this really okay? I would have fucking forwarded this to everybody. It's like, I, what is this? What am I being fucking told here? Is this, out this is ridiculous. Okay. Suddenly, people have something to say. This entire time, HR have Thanks not responded once. Mike. Really enjoy being here during a tough time. Big oh, love thank to you, you hey. team and chat. Hey, big love to you as well, my friend. Big love. Um, this entire time, HR have not responded. So they never put anything in writing. Wow. They never put anything in writing. And then they finally reply, inviting me for a quick call. No! No! No quick call. No, no, no. In a meeting, recorded. Every time. <laughs> Every time. In a meeting and recorded. Take your phone. Record the meeting. Every single time. It is in this call that HR asked me, what promotion? I have no idea what you're talking about. I feel like I'm reliving PTSD here. Oh my god. At this point, I raised a formal complaint. I had months of messages and emails. Okay, so he does have the receipts. I have months of messages and emails that I sent to HR to explain what I was talking about, and they finally reply with, You seem to be confused. There is no promotion. Leadership is a lateral move. <laughs> <laughs> Leadership is a lateral move. Okay, dude. It's just a change of responsibilities. There's no pay increase. Love you, preach. Have a good what? stream. This is fucked. Do you... Uh, come on, dude. You must have... Can you share this? I need to see this in writing. I need to see an HR area that would actually put this in writing. I beg of you to release this email. Please, share it. Because it's so absurd. I was livid naturally and asked what any normal fucking rational human, why would anybody want a that promotion then? Which obviously they then did the old, I can see you're frustrated, I can see how you would misinterpret this. I mean, at this point, you like questioning your own sanity, right? You're like, at this point, you're just like, am I in the fucking Matrix? What's what's going on here? <clears throat> this investigation for the formal complaint comes back after a few weeks, and after some careful deliberation, decides that HR did nothing wrong. Thank God. Well, we can all rest easy. Uh, and followed all processes correctly. So I hand in my resignation about an hour later, but it doesn't end there. Okay. Uh, he has all the emails, but doesn't have the energy to deal with the fallout. What do you mean? 
You said it all here. You had the energy to type all this out, but not to attach an email? We have investigated ourselves and found that we did mm. nothing wrong. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Like, obviously, all these things are always very one-sided. Uh, let me finish it before we get into that. Uh, because, no. HR then told me that because of my role as a lead, I had gained uh, inexplicable knowledge that would put me at a business risk to work anywhere else. So they're activating a non-compete clause that restricts me from working anywhere at all for three months. I mean, in the, the same industry. Non-compete doesn't mean you can't work anywhere. That's not what that is. I've had non-compete clauses before. That's not what that means. You can't work in the game dev industry. No, you can't be a VFX artist for someone else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anywhere at all. Okay. But, I mean, that is his speciality. Uh, and you might rightfully thinking, oh, uh, this is a paid three months. No, I did not think that. <laughs> That's not how that works either. You can't stop someone from working at all for three months without paying them. You keep saying at all. That's not what this, this is. Uh, incorrect. This is exactly what they did. And, unfortunately, completely legal because get fucked, I guess. Uh... Unless this is some weird US law, but this would not be enforceable in the UK. You can't stop people working. You can stop them from working in the, the same industry for three months, but not. Um, you can you can get a, you can have a job. Uh, I said I can't survive three months without pay. I have a mortgage, and they looked me in the eye and said, "Well, you probably shouldn't have signed the contract." Then smile. Unless you've got written proof, this is reaching levels of absurdity that an HR company can be evil and protect the company, but they're not. This this would, like, bury a business. They're not going to bury a business over a VFX guy. I'm not saying I completely disbelieve it, but it feels a little exaggerated at this point. Within a few minutes, I was locked out of Slack email, and that was the end of my time at Blizzard. Uh, if anyone's continued so far, thank you for listening. I don't know what the point of this is, but I need to get it off my chest. Blizzard had every opportunity to do the right thing, and they continually failed at that. I also want to sincerely thank anyone who purchased a mentorship session or portfolio review for me at the end of the last year. It quite literally saved me. I mean, I was able to not go into debt, so I'm hugely grateful and hope you all felt like worth it. Uh... <sighs> hmm. I mean, it's obviously reads awful, but it, I mean, it reaches some I mean, kind of absurd levels here. He has to post here. some evidence at least because yeah, this comes I, I feel... across bordering on potential defamation. I completely agree. Like, you have to post the receipts for something like this uh, because this paints them as literally like a Disney villain. Uh, like, I could absolutely 100% believe, and we had the receipts, right, of Ibarra saying like, "Come back or don't," but if you don't come back, you're you're out. Uh, and we have the receipts of that, right? The guy posted the meeting of it literally happening. Uh, but, like, HR saying you probably shouldn't have signed the contract then, smiley face, or... Even this one. He seems to be confused. There's no promotion. If you've got emails confirming from the initial meeting and the notes of that meeting saying, yes, you're being promoted, yes, there'll be a title change, blah, 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 and you've had replies saying, yes, it's coming... Uh, yes, your promotion is coming. Just hold on till September. Hold on till August when all the promotions happen, which is what he said. If you have that in writing, there is no argument here to be made at all. Uh, and they're suable for this. Like, this isn't just a case of I got treated badly. You'd be able to sue. It's like, look, I've got all the emails here saying, like, the promotion is coming. Wait till August. Wait till September. It's definitely happening. Just hang on. If you have that in writing... And then you have in writing, no, there's no promotion, you've misunderstood it. Like, they're liable to be sued. Who has the money for suing? Uh, if you had that clear cut a case, uh, you could definitely. All he had um, to do was send any of this to a lawyer. You could definitely and then find sit someone. Back and wait. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, there's lots of lawyers who would take this pro bono just to bring down Blizzard because there's so much money to make. Or get a big ton of money out of Blizzard. If you have that in writing, 
that that's what happened and you have confirmation that you are getting promoted and all that kind of stuff, then yeah, you can absolutely do that pro bono. Because, uh, I mean, it's, it's pretty slam dunk. It wouldn't be 100%, but you have a, there's never 100% in court. We all know that. We're not morons. But um, you have a pretty strong fucking case. If you have literally in writing with emails from senior management that you're getting promoted and getting pay rises and literal time dates, you know, it's got to be in August, it's going to be in September. Uh, and then you do have somebody saying to you, there's no promotion, you got it confused. You have a pretty strong case. I, I, I don't know, man. I just want to see the papers on this. Like I've been in this situation when i was younger uh you know that this this has happened to me it's not uh i'm not completely doubting it this has happened to me but i know it was my own fucking idiocy and naivety that brought it on like i i was doing deals that were i was paid as an administration assistant i should have been doing printouts and making coffee uh for people while i was firing people and managing uh part of hr and managing vehicles and doing all this stuff right like i i did a lot of fucking massive deals with huge companies uh while i was still being paid as an administration assistant like my title never changed my remuneration barely ever changed uh beyond but i was willing to do it because i loved the company and i wanted to stay and i was comfortable and so i did it because i was excited because i was naive it was like, you were involved in this big deal. Awesome. That sounds very exciting. Uh, but it's not a job I should have been doing. I know that now. It's like, this is not my job. <laughs> I absolutely should not be doing any of these things. Uh, that's that's not what I'm being paid for. If you want me to do it, I'll do it. But you need to pay me for it uh, to take on this responsibility. Uh, you got promoted to a manager at my company in charge of a fairly big team. I'm on the same salary as some of my staff, so I can relate. Yeah, I mean, it happens all the time. Especially in massive companies. Like we know Blizzard did the, um, they went around and re re redid everybody's pay to make sure everybody was on the right thing. But when you, you know, it does happen when you ha you're hiring a lot of people is salaries and negotiations of what happens on the day are always weird and variable and it sucks and it happens. You made a, a med sec for five consultants at a private hospital for a filing clerk. Got told I'll be promoted. Never happened. I was paid literally 650. Yeah, it's uh, it's one of those where, I mean, the rule is you should leave your job at least every five years. Um, if you're looking out for number one, you should absolutely be looking to leave your job every three to five years uh, and move to a different role. And that should be absolutely what you do. Now, it's different to my experience at the NHS. And the motivation remaining is obviously different, but it's the same type of exploitation. It is exploitation and the management. This is two things. I mean, I, I think we could recognize very early on this is Blizzard winding down the Overwatch team. Is what's gone on here. I have no doubt these things happened. And this young guy, because, I mean, he looks young to me. This looks like somebody in his 20s. Um, this young guy was in position for a company that was seeing the writing on the wall with Overwatch. It probably needs a full rebuild. We'll try and get as many microtransactions out of it as possible. But it's likely beyond saving now without Overwatch 3. And they're getting rid of people and they're not throwing more money at it as much as possible they'll try and get what they can out of it and winding it down it actually always amazes me how different the blizzard teams are they really are very independent you think there'd be more crossover but what we often actually see in reality is the different games operate like wildly different like the way diablo works is nothing like the way overwatch works and the way overwatch works is nothing like how world of warcraft works and they all kind of go in these totally different directions. Yeah, there's no crossover. There's not a unique defining business model for all of Blizzard's games. It's not there. There's no unity amongst their products at all. Which has led to, like, the death of StarCraft. F, rest in peace. The death of Heroes of the Storm. Hearthstone seems to be kind of trucking along. Hearthstone, whatever you want to say. Like, trucking along and doing okay. Still got a really popular fan base. World of Warcraft is doing super well right now. Diablo 4, eh, I've not played it. Uh, but uh, let's say I don't hear good things. And Overwatch 2 being like uh, the disappointment that it was. But this definitely feels like the missive from above was we get as much out of the guys as we can without paying any more money out to them. Yeah, Starcraft wasn't even mentioned at BlizzCon. 
Like, just not in the ether. I need to see receipts for this, though. Who, am I wrong on this? Do you guys think I'm wrong? But I need some proof of this kind of stuff. Like, some of these lines are so egregious. I really think you need to be like, here's the, the, here's the thing to go with it. I, that, that, like, that, this needs some sort of receipts to go with it. I don't want to doubt the guy. And in fact, I would just, I would feel very differently if we had those receipts. <laughs> yeah, all the things Twitter needs proof for, it's just fabrication. Kind of, there's always an element of truth in it. I have, I have really no doubts this guy got treated badly because I've seen it happen a million times and it's happened to me. Like, especially in bigger companies, you get exploited to the end of the earth because people are just so much less accountable in bigger companies. There's so, like, like you said, who was at that meeting? Uh... It was art leadership. Uh, uh, yeah, it was like, so this one meeting of promoting one guy had lead VFX, art directors, multi plural, associate art directors, plural, production directors, plural, and HR. All, I mean, this should be on record, right? This meeting should be on record. HR is there to take notes of what was said in the meetings. There should be a written statement of this. I mean, shit, even our little five-man team here, like, Google translates all our meetings. And don't tell me that the HR team is... If you've got an HR team that is not recording the meetings that are happening, what are you going to do? Uh, which is just insane. I agree that Blizzard has lost the benefit of the doubt. I can see that. I can see that. And I can see that being the general sentiment. But I, I'm i not going to go to the point where I'll believe everything. Because I think that's dangerous. Right? I think that's really dangerous. Where it's like, oh, well, I'm just going to keep piling on and believe anything and everything that's, that's said. Like, if it hasn't got something that's like, yeah, this actually happened. Like, people posting the meter of a, the meeting with a bar and stuff. <laughs> Never go to the extremes. Like, yeah, there's uh, Blizzard's unquestioned. I mean, fuck it. Nobody knows better than me, man. Nobody knows better than me. Yeah, Blizzard's been through some fucking horrible goddamn shit and done some really terrible things. Um, there's no doubt about that. But I'm not just going to, like, okay, let's, let's just blindly take everything at their word. Especially someone who's aggrieved, right? Like, when someone's aggrieved, they say anything. But, I mean, this is horrible, but I, I do think you should post some receipts. Otherwise, it's... It's too easily dismissed as disgruntled employee. It needs something here. I, if you like, I know he says he said in the replies he hasn't got the energy to post the repletes, the, the receipts or something. But something around the confirmation, because he said he was sending out these messages on Slack and email or whatever. Uh, something around the meeting that this is happening, and someone saying it's coming in August, it's coming in September, and then HR saying you haven't got it. Uh, and you've got confused. That's all it would take. That's all it would take. Like, there it is, and here's what happened. That's it. Uh, there's something about thank you for your purchasing my ex is raising alarms. I, I'm not trying to shit on the guy. I just, I need some confirmation. That's all. I, I think that's fair. I think that's totally fair. Uh, is to be like, this is really bad, so... Okay, prove it. Uh, yeah, he says he has the proof. Uh, let's see if we can find it. Uh, I still can't believe a AAA studio put you through this. It's absolutely disgusting, right? They literally had a moment in December, just like sat on the couch, low key, having a panic attack. Like, how is this happening? I'm like, just an employee tried to do my job. Thanks, Juliet. I appreciate your support. Uh, let me see it. Uh, I know, right? There's no way this is legal. They said, uh, there's no way this is legal, but I spoke to several lawyers and a union, and they all said that it is. There's no law prohibiting it. Have the energy to post a Twitter essay, but not any for any information backing himself up. Hmm. Uh, I am not familiar with US law. But everything in me says you can't have documentation saying you're being promoted and proof that you took on the responsibilities of that role while having written confirmation that you're getting a pay rise and a title change and then someone saying you got that confused. 
Even when they gave you a date of it being August and September. Uh, yeah, I, need, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not familiar. I mean, obviously, state by state law, there's no chance of me knowing that. Uh, oh, did you have the link backs? Because uh, he's replied to a bunch of these. Uh... It's not even asking to have my pay match the other leads. I was asking for like a 10% increase just as an act of good faith, and they wouldn't do that. Okay, so he asked for a smaller pay rise. There's more details down here. But they have to hire someone new for the full amount. Uh, yeah, thanks, Annie. I'm doing better now, thankfully. Okay. Uh, please always know I have nothing but love and appreciation for Team 4. That includes you. Uh, lesson learned. Oh, thanks, Enos. Unfortunately, with names and titles, you'd run the risk of defamation, slander, or libel lawsuits. And even though I have email proof of all of it, I have no energy to deal with the potential fallout. You can hide the names. How is it defamation and slander and libel if it's written proof? That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't add up. Two and two no longer makes four. There's no defamation, slander, or liable if it's written emails. You're suggesting a lawyer told him not to prove his case. Hmm. Hmm. Germany cannot publicly put out work here, else you will get sued. But I also assume this would be illegal in Germany, right? Like, uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure Germany has pretty strong worker protections. So, it wouldn't be an issue. Yeah, you have you have labor laws and things. Like, you can't have it both ways, but America, maybe you can. <laughs> maybe I find this hard to believe because I'm from the UK. Like, this... In the UK, this is just, like... This is this might as well be the company just running around pouring gasoline all over itself. Right? This is, this, that's all it would be. Like, in the UK, this is just nightmare fuel. <laughs> This company would be brought to its fucking knees right quick uh, for doing anything like this. Uh, any lawyer would tell you not to publish any of this. But yeah, they would... Uh, I am sure a lawyer would say don't publish it until after they've drawn up the case, right? Or the complaint. As it would be. I mean, we just had that with the Vince McMahon thing. That's all public. The entire complaint is public uh, of what's going on with the receipts in it. It's all done. Hmm. You think he's just afraid of the fallout? Maybe. But I could see that, all right? I'll, I'll meet you halfway. I could see a young guy who has moved on because uh, uh, he said he's working for... Um, is he working for now? Anchor Point? Uh, yeah, he's working for Anchor Point now and wants to move on. But if so, right? Oh, you see, fuck me, man. I could see it if it was like, I've moved on, I've got past it, and I don't want to sue, I don't want to do anything. Then why post all this, man? Right? If that's the case, then why post all this? Uh, I don't know. I find this whole thing fucking whimsy. I don't know, man. To vent? <sighs> then if he's... If this is to just vent... Emma heart. You're still fucking giga naive, dude. If this is just to vent, this is still giga naive and a stupid thing to do. Still, it's just a stupid thing to do. Yeah, getting it off your chest is not a good reason to start 
I mean, at this point, it's kind of slander. <laughs> you know what I mean? Until he posts the receipts, it kind of is. Uh, you're just like posting like Blizzard did this, 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 and this. Like you're not calling out individual people, but you are calling out Blizzard and Microsoft. Like at this point, you've made it worse, right? That's the situation. So uh, uh, the whole thread is naivety. Yeah, a little bit. Happy Friday. A little bit, man. Uh, Dan Uzer has left. Has he? Big Dan is out. God damn. The season of discovery is a fucking season of discovery, isn't it? We're discovering all kinds of stuff. Oh, yeah. It's on Reddit. No way. Big Dan's gone. Steve Danuser seems to have left Blizzard according to his LinkedIn. I was worried about Warriors. Uh... Yeah, I don't know, John. Like, it's not how I would handle it anyway, but we're old people, John. <laughs> We've seen some shit. <laughs> uh, narrative and IP developer, story architect, writer, team builder, voiceover specialist. Full-time narrative director from October for one year to two months, Minnesota, United States. I'm still worried about. I'm still worried about Warriors. That's in the back of my mind. Danu's is like. I bet they're all cheering from the fucking balcony, aren't they? Huge if true. Someone who thought that season eight of Game of Thrones was brilliant. Wait, did he? Oh no. Is that true? Have we got receipts on that? There's no fucking way. There's no fucking way. Oh, I didn't know that. That's insane. Really. Holy shit. Is that actually a, a writer thought that season eight of Game of Thrones was brilliant? Oof. Oof. Holy shit. <sighs> A masterpiece, I believe, is what he said. No fucking way. He just said, well, I thought it was brilliant on his Twitter. He never said it was a masterpiece. Brilliant? As millions around the world cried out in pain like Alderaan was being destroyed, you said it was brilliant? Well, of course, we would have seen all those millions of people cry out in pain like Alderaan, but it was all in the dark. So nobody saw shit. <laughs> nobody saw a fucking thing. <laughs> so, <laughs> it was really hard to appreciate what the fuck was going on there, to be honest. Uh, Jesus Christ. Wow. Wow. I can't say, I mean, it, uh, I wonder why he left. I wonder if Metzen is involved in this. Like, dude, no. I wonder if, uh, I, is that, I wonder why he left. Yeah, I wonder if it's uh, Metzen's return. Because I and don't... And then Chewbacca leapt out of the shadows and killed the Emperor. Because <laughs> I could, uh, Metzen strikes me. I've never been able to chat with Chris Metzen, and I hope to in the near future. We'll come back to you on that one. Uh, but um, he strikes me as someone who is in the realms of doesn't need to give a shit anymore and would quite openly in the private halls of business tell someone they fucking suck. Like, uh, and uh, like, yeah, no, <laughs> not happening. <laughs> Uh, that's that's how Chris comes across to me. Somebody who really cares about something he created all those years ago that um, hasn't gone well, if we're being polite, uh, and being like, "Yeah, we're not doing that. We're not doing that at all." Because uh, I can't imagine it's a return to work thing, a return to office thing, because that happened months ago. Now that was like six months, six seven months ago now. Uh... Oh, so you wrote Shadowlands? Well, there's the door. Yeah, uh, a little bit. Uh, you think it might be once he returns to her office? That's been going on for a long time. Um, you know what's really sad? I'm so out of touch with the Blizzard story devs that I think I've met him, and I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> and I don't mean that to sound derogatory, because like I don't care much for the WoW story. I'm hoping War Within's good. Uh, but when I told you guys that I walked into a room that I absolutely should not have gone into because <laughs> they were planning the story for the war within, 
<laughs> and I was like, oh, I can't be in here. And they were all like, yeah, you can't be in here. As they turned around the whiteboards. <laughs> <laughs> they were like oh uh yeah hold on uh and i went and stood outside while they corrected it uh and like the uh, the, the writing team for war within was all in the room and uh, they were clearly uh did i i did not see anything i did not see anything i was i am very very careful look man a lot of what the cool shit i get to do is based on trust I know when I'm in a room I'm not supposed to be in and I'm not going to abuse that trust. I looked at the floor immediately and walked out because I could see they were like, yeah, you, this this is not okay. Uh, you need to, We want to come and talk to you, which they did. They all came out of the room to talk to me. Uh, but I was like, oh, I, I'm talking. This was like a three second thing. I walked in. I was like, hey, guys, what's going on? Uh, uh, you know, saying hi, and then I was like, oh, I should not be in here, and, like, walked out of the room quickly. And they quickly turned around the whiteboards, because they were all jotting down ideas on the whiteboard and turned it around. Oh, I'm thoroughly blind. Like, it's safer for me not to know, which is what I tell people. It's be I, d I don't want- if you don't need to tell me, then I don't need to know. I don't want to be a potential point of failure for any of the companies I work with. There's no reason. It's no benefit to me to know that. What am I going to do? Leak it on 4chan about the fucking it's called the war within uh, and then there's going to be another one called uh, midnight and then there's going to be another one where the ancients come back. <laughs> no, no, I'm not going to do that. I, I'm fucking bothered. Like, I'm not going to do that. Uh, so uh, it's better I don't know. So I just walked out. But uh, I think he was there. Uh, it was honestly a bit of a blur. I, like, I'm not being mean. I've obviously seen a picture of him. I, it was a bit of a blur because I was like, I need to get away from this area uh, as quickly as possible. Uh, it's not going to happen. <clears throat> uh, probably couldn't handle Metson coming back and saying, the fuck did you do with my story? <laughs> Uh, I said the same thing, but I saw point out that he left around the time they forced people back to the office. Oh, he, did he leave a while ago? Oh. Oh, I thought this was recent. Uh, does it say when he left? Around November. Okay, that fits then. Oh, yeah, it says here, November 2023. Right. Okay, yeah, that makes way more sense. So it probably is a return to office thing. Okay. <clears throat> 